Hey y'all, it's time for our nightly reading of what's going on during the week of Easter or the week of Passover as we follow along in what exactly is going on in the life of Christ this week as we approach Easter. So uh, this will be the third night, Tuesday night, and we're again going to be in Matthew chapter 21, and we're going to read verses 23 through 32. <laughs> And just to set the stage, Jesus is still in the temple now, or has gone back to the temple. And uh, that's where we're going to pick up. It says, Now when he came into the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people confronted him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? But Jesus answered and said to them, I'll, I also will ask you one thing, which if you tell me, I likewise, likewise will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, where was it from? From heaven or from men? And they reasoned among themselves, saying, If we say, From heaven, he will say to us, Why then do you not believe him? But if we say, From men, we fear the multitude, for all count John as a prophet. So they answered Jesus and said, We do not know. And he said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. And then he went on, But what do you think? A man had two sons, and he came to the first and said, Son, go work today in my vineyard. He answered and said, I will not. But afterward he regretted it and went. Then he came to the second and said likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did the will of his father? They said to him, The first. Jesus said to them, Assuredly I say to you that tax collectors and harlots enter the kingdom of God before you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But tax collectors and harlots believed him. And when you saw it, you did not afterward relent and believe him. So a couple of things going on here. First off, the only reason they asked Jesus about, you know, what what authority he had is because they wanted to they wanted to trick him. They wanted him to say, well, you know, by my own authority. And then they say, well, you know, you didn't get that. Or he wanted to say, well, God told me to. And they're going to say, well, no, God didn't tell you. They were just trying to trick him. So Jesus obviously is smarter than them. And he said, well, let me let me ask you something first. And they they lied to him. They they knew what where John's baptism came from, but they didn't want to admit it because if they said it was from God, then they had no choice but to say they denied God by not believing it. And if they said it was from men to try to trick Jesus into saying that, you know, or to try to try to make it sound like John's baptism wasn't from God, then they knew they would up they would be an uproar from the people because everybody saw John the Baptist as a prophet. So Jesus, you know, he just outsmarted them. He used their own tricks to, to get back at them. And eventually he goes in there when the parable of the two sons. And what that what we need to learn from that, what you and I need to learn from that is it doesn't matter if you're going through all the motions and making things look like you're doing right and living this godly Christian life. God knows your heart. And the, the first son said, said, No, I'm not gonna go do it, Dad. But then he came back and said, Yeah, I I repent of my sin, you know, I'm gonna do what you asked me to do. These these chief priests and these Pharisees, what they were doing was they were saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to take care of your people, God, but they weren't doing it. They were lying to God and lying to themselves. So just remember that, guys. God knows our heart. It doesn't matter what we put on or what we say or what we do. If it's not, if it's not in our heart, God knows where it's coming from. So, guys, I love you. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow night, and y'all keep praying.